Welcome back to the channel. Let's explore together. Today, we are checking out a video requested by you all. It is another one by Niga Higa. How to sing like your favorite artist. Well, I mean, if you want to sing like your favorite artist, you're going to need an audio engineer. That, that's what it comes down to. You got to make sure you could do the vocal inflection that they do and then have an audio engineer to mimic whatever tricks they do to make them sound that way. Even in concerts, there's audio engineers behind the scenes to make sure they sound that specific way you recognize this artist sounding. So uh, anything beyond that is just going to be, you know, whatever. I think when he's done these before, because I feel like he did a series of these, he just, he just mimics the artist in parody form. But we'll see where he goes with this. But that was just your actual musician's take on how to do that if you actually want to. You need, a, you need an audio engineer. If you want me to react, react to stuff that I otherwise wouldn't, check the links in the description below for ways to do that. Here we go. Welcome, I'm Ryan Higa, professional singer and vocal stylologizerist. And today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to sing like some of your favorite artists. As much as you think you can't sing or as much as you know you can, you can't yet. But by the time you finish this video and with enough work and effort, one day you might be able to sound like this. Not one lesson. First artist you- I mean honestly you could do a lot with that if you get a clean recording of it. You're gonna learn how to sound like? Think Bro, of every how old is this video? I know his peak was a while ago. 2013? I get was 2 Chains relevant in 2013 still? I don't know. I feel like he was relevant earlier than that, but not quite who knows tough guy you ever met with a big ass chain. Now double that. That's how tough you gotta be when you rap like two chains. And once you got that down, all you have to do is rap about things that are blatantly obvious. She got a big booty, so I call a big booty. Or a line like this. I'm in the kitchen. The kitchen. Yams everywhere. Or all I want for my birthday is a big booty home. Yes, those are actual lyrics from his song, birthday song. But really, once you perfect your two chains, you can do it with anything. I like this lap, yo, that's why I purchased this lap. I'm in the kitchen. Not anymore. All I want for my birthday is a big booty home. Oh, gotta poop. Gotta poop right now. So, the good thing about every single rapper or artist of that variety is they're always a flash in the pan. And I just try to do my best to ignore them as I've gotten older. When I was younger, I used to get really mad. I was like, why do you, why does everybody listen to this? And then I got older and I realized, well, most people are just absolutely idiotic and they like things based on uh, social pressures as much as anything else so just ignore it and it will go away the only artists that stick around tend to have at least some amount of talent uh, the other ones well, who did we just have recently the island boys they're almost gone already and they just started it's just just wait it out don't don't spend the mental energy on the atrocities that are assaulting your ears, unless it's to do something like Ryan is doing here, which is make fun of it for, for your own amusement and your own income. Yeah. JT, sing high. That, that's, that's a tough one to do because he's actually, he's actually really talented. So the technique here is simple. You just have to grab your nuts hard, hard as the can. I can't wait till I get you on the floor to look in. <laughs> I think you went Michael Jackson there. Nicki Minaj. Well, so we so we went from no talent to a lot of talent to mid level talent in in this in this series. Nicki's very mid. Um, a female MC. She's very uh, overblown in both cosmetic proportions and perceived talent. Uh, those things happen mysteriously, but she has talent, just not not an outstanding amount to give her the status that a lot of people do. Sounding like Nicki Minaj is simple. All you have to do is rap while you're slowly leaning back on an exercise ball. I said, excuse me, you're a hell of a guy. I mean, mama, my, my, you're like Pelican Fly. I mean, you're so shy and I'm loving your tie. Just look at the guy with a thing on his eye. Huh? I don't understand that reference. Must be a music video thing. So you want to sound like Beyonce? Probably can't. It's yeah. natural, God-given thing. I was gonna say Beyonce, we're back to top tier talent. What are, what are you gonna do to sound like her? Talent. Oh, he just said you can't. Okay, uh, Justin Bieber, you're gonna have to learn how to sing well because he's also an extremely talented vocalist. Just try to sound overly sexy, almost to the point where it sounds like you're gonna cry, but you don't. <laughs> as long as you love me. 
that was that was rough on the ears, Ryan. That one that one hurt. Ugh. One of Bieber's only mainstream misses was Yummy. Oh God, that's that's trash. But he's still talented. One Direction. I don't remember them. I mean, I remember them, but I'm like, who is in that? I, I don't I don't remember. Boy band though, of pretty good singers. This is the weirdest commentary for this joke video, but y y music brain is on, so that's what you get. Get over it. Just pretend you're a good-looking British singer and duplicate yourself. Everyone else but you two. Well, let's see, I'm probably gonna need about one, two, three, four more people for this part, so... Koge Butchin no Jitsu! You guys ready? Ready? You didn't even get different outfits, man? Five, six, seven, eight. Remember that when you are feeling sad. Okay, Drake. We're we're back down to uh to mid tier to upper low tier talent, the Nicki Minaj category, but with the proportional explosion of like there. I always think of a ratio with artists. What's the talent to fame ratio, and how off is that? And that tells you about that artist's marketing teams around them and the marketability of their personality to their demographic. It doesn't mean they have a good personality per se, but it means that they have a good personality for the demographic they're looking to financially exploit. Cause at the end of the day, that's what the mainstream music industry is about is exploiting a demographic to make money. I mean, it has to make money and you just using music to exploit that. Drake is one of those cases where it's been very impressive how much they've been able to get out of him because you usually to get to that level of superstar need a lot more talent than what Drake brings to the table. You need your Justin Bieber's, your Justin Timberlake's, uh, hey Justin's, um, hell in the non-pop arena, your ACDC of the world, um, Metallica. You you need a lot of talent to be able to push a brand that far. Usually. Drake is one of those situations, much like Nicki Minaj, where you don't have a lot of talent. You have very mid, upper mid talent, but most of the other people doing the same genre that they are at a professional level are better than them. Like if you if you line up 10 top tier mainstream rappers and put Drake in there and you look at raw talent, Drake's going to be at the bottom of almost every list. And same with Nicki Minaj. Um but the way they've marketed it and the songwriters they've put around them has just all worked. But Drake is just a masterclass of the songwriters matching the type of songs he can deliver, the scouts scouting the right styles for him to take and you know portray as his own. They've just done a masterclass with Drake. Um, but as an artist, he's, I mean... If you understand music and see what he brings on the raw table, it's pretty, pretty impressive ratio on that guy. Um, as far as little talent for huge popularity. Just sound really lazy. Like you don't even feel like rapping today. Started from the bottom. Now we're here. Lazier. Much lazier than that. Started from the bottom. Now lazier. we're here. Lazier. Started from the bottom. Now we're Look, your alarm clock just woke you up at 6 a.m. And now you have to go to school. Started from the bottom. Now the whole team here. There you go. There you go. That's one of the styles Drake does. He he just it's a steal a steal a style Tuesday for that guy. Lil Wayne. All right, Lil Wayne is a really good lyricist. He's a, he's a smart guy, right? Lil Wayne plotted his career, educated guy, and he did a lot of the marketing uh, himself. Where his talent is is in lyricism. I put him as a top tier artist. I don't think he's vocally the best, but he found a way to get an aesthetic that worked. But his lyricism is is top shelf. So Lil Wayne, respect to him. But if you're trying, gonna try to sound like him, you just I mean it's it's on the fringe of mumble rap, basically, with a lot more audio engineering behind it. Now take what you do with Drake and go even lazy. Kinda like you're on drugs and struggling to speak. Could never figure out I love. There you go. I love. Mm. Snoop Dogg, hey, a.k.a. Snoop Lion. Remember the Snoop Lion phase? All right, Snoop is another one of those who's actually pretty high talent-wise. He he got lazy later on, got ghostwriters, but in his heyday, he was forming and plotting what rap would look like and how to have the right cadence, hit the right pockets, do the right... I mean, West Coast hip-hop was... the Snoop Dogg was one of the, the founding fathers of West Coast hip-hop, so high talent, 
uh, on this one as well. How to snap sound like Snoop? Let, let's let's see. Pretend like you're rapping at 3 a.m. in the morning with your mom sleeping in the same room, and she already woke up to scold you once. <laughs> it's the bedroom rapper sound. When the pimps in the crib, huh? Drop it. Will like you shut up? <laughs> T Pain, T Pain, uh, his ratio goes the other way because he was like a flash in the pan of popularity. People don't talk about T Pain too much anymore. He does like live streams and stuff now. But T Pain was extremely high talent, and then at some point, extremely high popularity. He just failed to to keep it. If you've ever heard T Pain without the auto tune, he's a very good singer, and he was also obviously a genius strategist for basically inventing the idea of how he used autotune. Cher was the first one to use like a noticeable autotune track, but what T-Pain did with it was a lot different than what Cher did. And obviously everyone still does that to this day. But I don't know. I think he wasn't able to market himself as a person well enough to to have staying power because he had the talent and he had the mindset of making the, of good music. But how to sound like T-Pain is you crank the autotune up. That, that's it. And then you just belt as high of notes as you can and let the autotune do its work. To sound like T-Pain, I'm already doing it. To sound like T-Pain, I'm already doing it. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's a very different vocal recording. <laughs> if you had just, if you tried to autotune that spoken word, you would have had to, you would have had to do a lot of work to make it sound like anything. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Lil John just yell. Lil John is uh odd. Uh, I'll just say that. It's kind of like your hard of hearing. What? I said it's kind of like your hard of hearing. What? I said it's kind of okay. like your hard of hearing. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, he lost. He lost a girl. Every emo song, well, you have to have a pretty good vocal range, be raspy and screamy about it, and have have contemplative uh, lyrics that aren't actually as deep as they seem. You're sad because you just lost the love of your life. And you're trying to get over them by pushing them out, but you can't because you're just constipated with love. Uh, emo butt stuff. I mean, he's got it. He's got it. He's correct. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> I'm so sorry. Your your Tom DeLong needs work. Of all your impressions, this this one's down there with that uh, Justin Bieber impression. Th those have been your two lowers. You'll get it. Every country song, just do like what Bo Burnham says and pander, pander, pander. You talk like this and pander. Think of the sound you would make when imitating the shot clock buzzer of a basketball game. <laughs> now make the sound of your voice cracking when you're going through puberty. <laughs> I'm going through puberty. Put those two together and you got country. I will never sing, never. He's not far off from a certain variety of country. Every reggae song. I mean, get high and then play music and it'll be probably that. You remember the Stitch voice from Lilo and Stitch? Oh, Hanaman family. <laughs> Good. Now do that with a deeper voice while bobbing your head. Oh, Hanaman. Well, we're talking that that version of reggae. Not all reggae sounds like Shaggy. The family. And if you want to get fancy, you can add in those random unnecessary shouting sounds that they do at the beginning of the song right before the chorus. All you have to do is hit random things on your keyboard and shout it out loud. Ask the empty girl, so I'm gonna give it to her. Check, check, boop, boop. Well, that, that ended up in new, new wave hip hop years later. Every song that's difficult to understand, what do you mean by that? You mean like Nirvana? Grunge rock? Just mumble? Whether it's in a different language or it just sounds like it is, there are still ways you can sound like your favorite artist. If you don't know the song, just keep quieter until the part that you do know comes up. Ah, uh, this. Or you could just... Gundam style, there's the throwback. Sing the parts that you do know and mumble the rest. Just give me the light and buzz the drum. That's Sean Paul. That's Sean Paul, right? Nobody knows any of his songs. Nobody knows what the hell that man's saying ever. And if those two tips don't work, just make up the word. As long as it relates to the song title, people will probably think you know it. Kind of like how I used to sing the song Lights by Ellie Goulding. Turn the lights off and you turn them back on. Actually, those lyrics can make a really good 2 chain song. You turn the lights off, then you turn them back on. Last but not least, and probably the most difficult to understand and imitate. Skrillex. Have Transformers have sex with each other. 
In order to sound like Skrillex, you need to do everything you just learned in this video and put it all together in one. Back up! Oh. You are all out. Uh, oh my god. Yeah. yeah. Where's the dubstep drop? <laughs> well, we forgot to get a thumbnail, so let's just get one at the start of this video now and just what? I <laughs> that was interesting. Uh, I I I talked too much on this one. You know, we were talking too much about music. That's that's dangerous. Dangerous to send me stuff like this, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you're still here, somehow leave a comment saying that you're still here sometime somehow. And until we explore again, I'll see you next time.